We are on the Amudaria River and uh, the collective farm named by Berdach, famous poet of Karakalpakians. And we are uh, close to the pump station, which is pumping something like 2,500 uh, 2, uh, cubic meters per second. And we are together with Mr. Khurbambay, who is the uh, head of this collective farm. So how many people are on this collective? Luma Nasilini near Kalhamas, Shmun Jitu Jiluadam. Three thousand seven hundred fifty people, people living in the Jums Hajaramus Altis Tosan Adam. And among them, uh, people who uh, has a job is about uh, six hundred seventy. And their main crop is cotton? Basnonum Pachtavas. Yes. Have they noticed any change in the quality of the water and of the soil with the irrigation? Um, he is uh, t uh, taking a sample uh, twice a week from the laboratory to monitor the quality of water, if salinity of water growing up uh, more than 1.5 grams per liter of salts, he stopped the irrigation. Stop and does he have to do that very yes. often? After the 25th of March, March it's uh, grown uh, more than 1.7 mm. grams per liter, so he stopped the pipe. And the quality of the, the land, I see a lot of salt on uh, the surface here. Is it going down? Yes, it is. Yes. Salinity is growing mm -hmm. up very much. And are the yields, the crop yields, dropping then? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The collective farm named after Berdach did not spring from poetry, but was part of the grand economic push of the Soviets in the 1950s to turn the desert green. Cotton was nicknamed white gold. It's still the pride of Uzbekistan and the mainstay of its economy. <laughs> 